enhorabuena por me parece es, es increíble la, esta segunda temporada, me parece alucinante con respecto a la primera, no esperaba esto y me parece increíble vuestro trabajo también, o sea que enhorabuena por todo. Muchas gracias. Y, y bueno, lo, lo primero que quería saber es que es, no sé si vosotros eh, habéis visto la primera temporada eh, antes de enfrentaros a esta segunda y si en caso, vamos, cuando la estabais viendo pensabais que querríais estar en una segunda temporada y, y formar parte de esta gran historia. Oh, yeah. <risa> oh, mamá. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh, oh mamá. mamá. <laughs> you go. No, I go with the answer. Okay, yeah, yeah. that was the answer. <laughs> that was the answer. Yeah, I love this oh. one. Love it. Yeah. I knew. I knew that there was. Uh, I know. I knew that Jorge uh, was doing the head because Alvaro Morte was there. Mm. So I knew that uh, Jorge, uh, Alvaro was was going to shoot something when he finishes uh, um, uh, Money Heist. And they were, they were waiting for him, okay? Because it, we didn't finish at the time. Mm -hmm. So I knew that, but I haven't seen it. I watched it, uh, I watched it uh, when, uh, when Jorge called me to tell me, listen, uh, we want you to do a role. A role, he didn't say anything about Charlie. So I watched the, the first season, I love it. And then they sent me the script, and I, I love it as well. Yeah, I was the same. Love season one and how original it felt. And the use of one takes, continuous use of one takes and one shots, you know, and I, I love that way of working. And the, the actors' freedom, they were all looked very free and trusted their director. So I thought, this is really special. And then you know, I read season two. I said, oh, I'm, I'm in this quite a bit. Oh, gee, I'm, I'm still, still here. I was like, oh, this is, this is great. All right, all right, cool. All right, I'm in. All right, cool. All right, all right, cool. I meet my friends. We're, we're, we're good. You know. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. How has it been for you to work for a long time in a city tan pequeño? Do you know what? I think it helps. I'm not speaking for Hovig, but you might feel the same, like the isolation and being so far out at sea and what the characters are going through, the mystery and the darkness and the fear of there's murders happening. I thought it really helped being in close quarters and on a real ship. It really helped for me anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I knew he'd do that. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, a, no, but it was the big part of the thing. Like uh, we have, we have we had the relationship first day, I think. But being there was like the plus, like yeah, the big, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, ¿Cómo ha sido para vosotros trabajar con Jorge Dorado? I would love to work with again and again. He's is uh, amazing director who never lets you lose count of the heart uh, of the empathy between characters of the camaraderie between you and your actors. And he sees the edit while he's shooting. He sees things. He's like a composer. He's, he's really gifted, really, really gifted. I'm an actor today because of a friend of mine. He's a magician, Jorge Blas. He's a, he's a very good friend of Jorge Dorado as well. So he's the first guy, like 13 years, uh, 23, uh, 14 years ago, 14 years ago, yeah. He invites me to put my feet on a stage, uh, okay, to do some comedian, okay? Then I, maybe you know, I start to do a stand-up comedian after that, okay? And then I become an actor, because one producer, big producer in Spain watched me, and he was looking to a character like me, so there started my career. But it was an accident, and it was because of Jorge Blas. And there was a day, in 2000, I didn't, I, I wasn't an actor, I didn't start to work. In 2009, we are celebrating a birthday in Jorge Blas' house. It's his wife's birthday. And Jorge Dorado was there. It's the day that I met Jorge Dorado, okay? And we were just our four. Jorge Blas, his wife, Jorge Dorado and me, 
like we were drinking, talking, and I went to the to the uh, bathroom, and Jorge Dorado asked to Jorge Blas, "What does your friend for a living?" Okay, what? Okay, what? Okay, and he, and he said, "Okay, my friend is a uh, is a uh, ex boxer. He's two times a Spanish heavyweight champion. He's a uh, poetry." And now he's a stand-up comedian and he's working very, very good and he's working hard and he's doing it great. And you know what Jorge Dorado answered to him? He said, your friend is an actor, mm. but he doesn't know yet. Mm. Wow. We're here, man. Wow. We did it. Yeah. yeah. I love that. I love that. I love that. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank very, you very much. much.